been the same for the past 60 years. Nothing had changed. People are the same. Uh, yes, that you know, young, young, go, the old goes on, and you won't come in. But otherwise, nothing changed. To me, it hasn't. And I've been around here a very long time. Since I've been here 55 years, the people treat me so good. The, the, the people make the community. The people make the Tepeyac. The one that love the people give me the Tepeyac, that's what makes the Tepeyac. Okay. You're going to be walking around with fear? Well, <laughs> stay home. You have to get up, go to work, and ignore it. You know, it's all in your mind. The next stop is Pico Aliso Station, Mariachi Plaza Station, Soto Station, Indiana Station, Maravilla Station, Atlantic Station, end of the line. Thank you for riding Metro Gold Line. Mantenga East Valley hasn't um, changed much in, in many years. There's there's a lot of um, services that can improve. But there there could be more programs I think for uh, younger kids. I think some folks feel like they're not uh, as connected to their uh, services and their their um, representatives. My name is Jasmine Garcia and I'm 26 years old. You know, just improvement to the aesthetic of it. A lot of people can agree that, you know, East LA for many decades has physically looked um, the same. There has been a, a change in, in, in the sense that uh, the younger generations that are living here right now um, are staying here or they they go to school anywhere else and they decide to come back and um, that's good you know we have people that want to stay here and they want to contribute come back and contribute to their neighborhood and I think it's great because um, they you know they feel like East LA uh, is a worth place to live it's it's a place that they want to make better I lived in I've lived in different areas I've lived in Whittier I've lived in uh, just all over uh, San Diego but you know I came back and the comparison that I make to East Los Angeles is it's not as I mean we are united it's it's a community that's uh, that, that that's close-knit uh, it's very working class and it still maintains some of the core values that, uh, that you might not find in, uh, in some of uh, some of the other cities or mainstream America my name's Alex Luevano and I'm 36 years old to me East Los Angeles means community it means family. I'm not officially with the census. I'm a volunteer. I'm from, you know, I live on, uh, on, on uh, I live on Hamill Street. It's, it's, it's in East Los Angeles. I, I feel that it's my responsibility as a citizen to, to, to do something positive so that when I go somewhere else and I tell them that I'm from East Los Angeles, uh, they don't go, oh, wow, you live in a tough neighborhood. No, you know, see, I'm doing my part to try and change that perception, to try and and, and, and change that uh, misconception that it's a really bad neighbor. It's not, dude. If people took the time to actually uh, put a little effort into it, you can turn around and and, uh, and and do a lot of good things. So no, I'm not from the sense, I'm just a volunteer, a citizen, just like anybody else, you know? That's it, doing my part. When I think of East LA, uh, I, I think of, the, one of the first things I think about is that potential, it has a lot of potential. Well, you know, you have the old barrio stigma, you know, and I mean, it, it, this is considered the barrio, but it's it's kind of like the proud barrio, you know, we're not, it's not a slum by any means, you have a lot of proud people who have beautiful homes and properties, and uh, the warmth here is irreplaceable. My name is Aaron Ballesteros, I've, I've, I've seen everybody come and go through here, yeah.